Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, for those who are new, welcome to my channel. Uh, so for today, we are going to um, do a budget with me. Um, <clears throat> sorry guys. So yeah, we're gonna um, stuff and get ready for the, I believe it's the third week of July. So yeah, if you guys are interested in watching, just please stay tuned. Okay guys, so first I just wanna say, um, I just wanna thank everybody for all the support and my my YouTube and my Instagram. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. Um, I think for those new subscribers, um, thank you so much for joining me in my journey. I, I see you guys. <laughs> I see you guys, so I really appreciate all the support. So yeah, um, let's just get started. So as you guys can see, I brought my wallet, my croc wallet back. Um, for those new subscribers, I did have this in the beginning of my journey, but I just switched it out to my clear one. But now I'm back at this one. So I just decided to give it some love um, this time around. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I think that's it for now. So um, the same thing with my envelopes. I bought these in the beginning and I just decided to give these some love too. So we're back at it again with the, with the wallet and trying out these um, A7 uh, envelopes. So let's just get started. So in total that we are going to cash stuff is $930. So $930. I just want to make sure you guys are seeing it. Yes, you are. Okay, so first let's start with groceries. Groceries, I'm going to add... $50. Um, coffee is going to be skipped again. Um, food. Guide for, guys, for coffee. This is going to be like my third time. I'm not stuffing it. I just have been doing my coffee here lately. I haven't been going out that much. since, And also, like, I've been working from home. So that just makes it even more, like, for me not to go to Starbucks. So I've been, I've been saving, like, not really like spending my money on coffee. I've just been doing it here. That's why I haven't been stuffing it lately. Food is gonna get 20. Tips. Uh, tips, I don't think I'm not gonna put nothing for tips. Nope, nothing for tips. Gifts, I'm just gonna add $5 to that. five dollars and i still have some rollover as you can see from my envelopes allowance is gonna get hmm, how much i want to put let's put 20. okay and miscellaneous is gonna get five genesis um i usually pretty much don't stuff genesis here in my wallet because all her money is it goes to my high priority binder and whatever i'm gonna do shopping for her i just pull it off from there and i put it here uh same with household whatever i'm gonna do shopping for household i just put the money in here just to keep it more organized you could say and gas is not gonna get stuff we're pretty much good with everything else so that is that for this wallet okay now, before we move on to my other binder, I just want to let you guys know some new additions that I'm going to be doing in, in my budgeting system. So, some new expenses are coming up for me um, and some expenses that are going to, well, pretty much, yeah, they're probably, they're going to come up soon. And some bills. Um, I've recently I had to purchase a new stove because, an induction stove, because I don't want to, like, be too chatty and talking too much about this just to make it real quick my parents are in the are in the process of moving and buying a new home there we're so close to the closing date so me and my brother we're going to stay behind living in this house and with for that they're going to take the stove and so i had to like buy a new stove for myself and i did it with a home depot credit card and the total for that one it's going to be um, nine hundred dollars so that's part of of the payments that I have to include here. So, and some other stuff too. Um, 
that's that's gonna be happening as i'm expecting bills are coming up for then me and my brother we're gonna be in charge with for this house so as soon as my parents the house is, is closed already they have the keys they're gonna sit down and talk to us what expenses we are responsible for for this house so that i'm gonna you could pretty much is gonna be my bills binder slash personal so i wanted to show you guys real quick if you guys are not interested in part you could really just skip it when i get to my high priority but for those who are interested to see so yeah so this is gonna be my new wallet um i got the moterm i was really looking for like a nice taupey rosy brownish like binder and the mold term just pretty much met my expectations with the color so i got it in this color and i got and it's pretty much this is how it looks like i already added some cute things in here so this is gonna be you could say my new my bills binder slash personal and here i'm just gonna add the envelopes that i'm gonna cash stuff so i have them here this is the envelopes that I want to add here. So let's just open it real quick. No, let's skip this. So yeah, this pretty much is what's going on right now. Um, this is money I have to deposit for my bank. I just made, I made these envelopes and I just added this here so I could know what's gonna happen. Home repairs. Um, also for this, it's also going to be part of like my cash budgeting system because unfortunately, if you follow me on Instagram, we had some heavy rain here and it our basement got flooded really bad and it really damaged our broiler. My parents had to buy a new one. So we're going to split that payment of that broiler because it was super expensive. So I'm going to give my part and I'm going to cash stuff it and, and budget myself with that here's home depot that's going to be for my stove and i also have like a budgeting sheet it was 900 dollars, and i have to send the payments each month so the, each month is 75 dollars, but i'm going to try to give more than that here's my miscellaneous clothes and shoes and family fun these envelopes i got it from plain chic designs plus i will link everything down below for you guys you can check it out really cute envelopes i really recommend them so yeah this is gonna be my new addition to my little budgeting family. I hope it's. I hope you guys don't see it like oh it's too much, it's just too extra. It's just the way how I'm gonna organize myself with this. It's gonna make my life easier now. So yeah, this is it. This is something I have to pay for: Home Depot, home repairs, and bank deposits. Some probably some more envelopes are gonna be added to this here too. Um. But that's like on the next few videos, probably by in August, I'm going to have this binder ready and set. So yeah, this is how it looks like. This dashboard is from Lux Designs. These little cute little quotes and these little cards are from uh, Plain Chic Designs Plus. They were just little freebies that I got from her. So cute. So yeah, guys, this is going to be my new, my new addition to my budgeting system. And yeah, I look forward to um, stuffing this binder real soon so yeah that's what i wanted like to, just to let you guys know just clear things up just to add here in my system so yeah we'll, let us continue sorry guys <laughs> okay so this is how much i'm gonna stuff for wallet um let's start with the high priority so one month ahead let me see yeah you guys can see so in total for this, let's just do the math for this one. So 15 plus 20. So this is um, $100. So one month ahead, it's going to be 143 Um. Genesis, I did some shopping for her, so I gotta bump this up a little bit more. Genesis is gonna be fifty dollars. Uh, personal childcare, it is gonna be how much do I wanna put? I'm gonna put fifty. Fifty. Um car payment it is gonna be how much do i want to put yeah let's do another 50 and credit cards i did use 
my Amazon credit card to buy a couple of things for my camping trip. So uh, it's gonna be a 20 there. Um, household, it is gonna get, how much do I wanna put? 10. Okay, and self care, I'm gonna add a five. All right, so, oh, and savings, my bad. Savings, definitely wanna put savings. Savings is gonna get 10, like always. Okay, so perfect. So let me just divide this. So in total for this binder, it's it's gonna be sorry, um, three hundred and thirty-eight. Perfect. Okay. So that's it for my high priority. It's my little point. Knocked it down. Okay. Now let's go to my personal binder. Well, you guys can see. So family fun. I am gonna put. How much do I want to put? I'm going to put 20. Okay. Clothes and shoes. I am going to put... I want to put 10. Miscellaneous. I am going to put 86. So this is going to be... Oh, I'm trying to remember what this is going to be for uh what was it gonna be for again i think it's gonna be for the part of like the home repairs you could say i don't know i'm probably gonna i have to or think my words what was this for i know i had it for something i don't know if it was gonna be for the for the broiler or it's gonna be for the stove because besides the stove that we that i got um it didn't have like the plug-in or something i don't know my dad explained it to me and that is something somebody need to like install in our walls to have my induction stove like plugged in you could say so that's that's part of like also that's going to be my miscellaneous payment because that's going to be part of that i'm going to pay for so yeah i'll explain it better in my cash stuffing so that way i can like organize my thoughts what's going to be for again but yeah miscellaneous is going to be 86 and that is it for now for this section home depot it is gonna get how much do i put yeah i'm gonna put 20. and home repairs is gonna be 20. and that is it okay so let's calculate this section. So this part this is one fifty six. One fifty six, okay. And the next is our low priority. priority and we're going to skip annual expenses, annual holidays. It's going to be, do, 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 how much do I want to put? I'm going to put 10. Black Friday is going to be skipped over budget. It's going to get a 10. And beauty, it is going to get gonna get da, 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 10 okay and I think that's it for this binder so for this section pretty much it's gonna be $30 30 okay now our savings challenges So I just want to make sure if I could work down here. Okay. You guys can 
see it. No. Okay. Let's go up. So for the 20K, it is going to get um, $6. Even though if I am not stuffing each piggy, at least I know I'm stuffing something and I am not skipping this because... Just to let you guys know, this 20K challenge, it's going to be for my home. I am saving for my home. Um, right now, I'm not, I don't have enough save, but I'm getting there little by little. My goal is by the time I turn 30, I need to have my home already. Like, I just want to reach that goal. So, like I said, if, if I'm not stuffing each piggy, at least I'm getting somewhere, at least to stuff one of them. But, yeah, I just want to, like, explain that to you guys. So yeah, 20k is going to get $6. The $500 challenge, it is going to get 15. And my my 100 envelope, it is going to get I'm going to stuff these four. <laughs> I'm going to stuff it. It's the total, I think for this it's let's do the math. 27, 28, 29, 31. So, 27 plus 28 plus 29 plus 31, 115. It's going to be 115 for these. So, I got to remember the section for this one. So, yeah, and that is it. The, this is just like other stuff that I stuff. So now for our long-term binder i hope you guys can see it yeah you guys can see it okay so for this section it is gonna be let's see six plus equals 136 okay Okay, so for this per this section, emergency. Um, let me check which one I'm gonna stuff next. It is probably gonna get the twenty five. Maybe twenty five. Um, car expenses. Let me open this real quick. I think it's going to be 25. Yeah, it's 25. Put this in the back so you guys can see it better. So it is going to be 25. Then hmm, home must have. I'm gonna skip uh, my house slash dream home. It is just gonna get two, ten dollars. Let me just write it down real quick. My house is gonna get ten. <clears throat> and vacation is gonna get a fifty. Uh, let's see what else we got. Christmas. It is going to get a ton. And for my birthday. Okay. Let me explain this real quick for my birthday. Why it's empty. I literally had $200 here. Save for my birthday. But for 4th of July. I did, so, I did do some spending on that day. I went to get drinks, a cake, like so many things for 4th of July and it literally just, my whole 200 went there. I didn't know where to pull it. Unfortunately, I didn't have nothing safe for annual expenses. So I had to pull it for my birthday, but we are going to cash, we're going to stuff this up. Hopefully we reach a goal, but I doubt it. So for birthday, it is gonna get 50. And that is it. The last one is going to be skipped for now. So that is that. And for this section, we got, oops, 
25 plus 25. So it is 170 here. Okay, so let's count all this to make sure it is this guy. So 100. Yep, 930. Okay, perfect. So we got this done. So let's do the denominations. Yeah, let's do the denominations. So it's going to be 100, 50, 20, 10, 5, 1. Okay, so for 100, okay, so groceries is going to get a 50, food a 20, gifts 5, allowance 20, and miscellaneous 5. Okay, um, one month ahead is going to be 100, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3. Genesis is going to get a 50. Um... Personal child care, it is going to get at a 50. Sorry, sometimes my brain goes somewhere else. Um, car payment is going to get another 50. Credit card is going to get a 20. Household is going to get 10. Self care is going to be 5. And saving is going to get a 10. Okay, family fun is going to get a 20. Clothes and shoes is going to get 10. Miscellaneous is going to be 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, and 6. Um, Home Depot is going to get a 20. Home Repairs is going to get another 20. Uh, annual Holidays, it's a 10. Over Budget is going to be a 10. And Beauty is going to be a 10. Um, the 20K Challenge is going to be 5 and 6. The $500 challenge is going to be 10 15 and the 100 envelopes. Okay, since the 100 envelopes, it's going to be 27 28 29 and 31 Yeah, right. Yeah, 27, 28, 29. Okay, so it's going to be 25, 6, and 7. Uh, 25, 6, 7, 8, uh, 20, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 31. So 20, 30, and 1. Okay. Um, emergency, it is going to be 25, so 20 and 5. Same with car expenses, 25. My house is going to get a, t it's, it's a 10. I keep getting, oh, it's going to get a 10. It's going to get, no, it's it's 10. Vacation, it's a 50. Christmas is going to get a 10. And my birthday is another 50. So let's count this to make sure whatever total, it's still 900. Hopefully I don't mess up like last time. So this is going to be 100. Um, we got five and six, so 50 times six, 300. Okay, we got uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 times 20 equals 360. We got uh, 10, 1, 2, 3, 50, yeah, 100 here. So we got uh, 10, 11, so I, I assume it's 55, yep. Uh, yeah, right, yeah, it's 55. <laughs> I counted this wrong last time. And this is 15. So let's make sure we add this up, 100. Okay, yay. So yes, it is. It is the amount that we want. So 
yeah guys this is pretty much it with my budget with me um and also the new additions i have for my budgeting system with my binders and my envelopes um these are expenses that are coming up for me since my parents are you could say moving out they bought their own home over there and they're gonna um, leave us here to stay which is um bittersweet but at the same time it is a little bit sad because we all live together as four here and now that we're gonna be separate in our ways i mean it's it is gonna be a little bit like sad we're gonna miss each other but we're it's they're just gonna live not that far but we're still here together as a family so yeah this is pretty much it this is my whole budget and um i'm just gonna get this money and start and getting started with my cash stuffing okay well thank you so much for being here i appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you guys in my next video thank you bye